They change how the dryad works. I think it's a druid before, it's a dryad. The dryad came in and it didn't hurt Skarsnik. Last time we tried this where I spawned, it spawned right next to a hero, it ended up doing massive damage to that hero that it spawned next to. It is possible that he dodged the effect or whatever, but suffice to say, here he is, and he did not trigger it, the Berserk from it, so it doesn't feel like it was an attack. x -Vade. Sorry, Mr. Stone Shard stream. I didn't stream Stone Shard. I don't know if you saw x -Vade. I'm sure you did. But they have put out a devlog for Stone Shard, I think today or yesterday, where they have given a release date for the next update. And so I decided that I will not be playing Stone Shard right now. I will do it when that update comes out. And the date is August 5th. So, the new thing that I wanted, we've been playing the last spell for this entire stream, and so uh, we are we made it to the boss and we will end the stream after this. So you, you arrived at a perfect time. The new thing that I wanted to, to show you guys at, as the boss fight is this bar up here. Instead of it having a night meter, it now has a boss meter. And it means that you're you're not you're not supposed to be killing the enemies. I think in fact the the enemies coming from the edges will spawn infinitely. The only thing that matters is killing the bosses. Bosses plural in this case. I hope you had a nice stay at work. Uh, X Fade. Okay, let's take a step back. I was wondering if she counts as isolated, and it looks like she does. And so isn't it nice that Skarsnik is standing right here and can stab it at least five times. It has a ton of health, obviously, but I think that's the best use of our time. Now it might be tempting to stab it one more time, but... I think we can do better. I think Skarsnik can kill it. If I run seven tiles away, and then run seven tiles back, and then use the momentum thing here, it does 263. That is not enough. Huh. Really? That's disappointing. So then we spend 20 health to run three tiles away and three tiles back. Getting closer. Still not enough. I mean, obviously I'm doing it. Then we will drink the potion, stab it again. And then if I drink another potion, we can stab it with the spear. And then we can stab it with the scroll. And then stab it with the dagger. Ha! <laughs> got him. <laughs> that took some effort, but we got it. <laughs> Okay, so in the previous run, I one shot, uh, like one turn kill the boss without much effort. This one took some effort from our best character uh, and all the resources that you could possibly spend, but he did it. Good. Worth it, of course. So that is, that's important because now we are going to advance that boss tracker. GG's, indeed. All right. Now let's play the game. It feels weird. Oh, we've got a new enemy. So that's what was happening here. Twisted. Never seen you before. Even those who once fought against the mist can fall victim to it. A former mage mutated by the mist can be a formidable foe. They act as cruel commanders on the battlefield and can cast a wide array of spells. Oh no. 
Okay, he buffs them with movement points. Magic Lash is just a basic attack doing 62 damage. Command, yeah, gives plus two movement points. And apparently there's two of them here. Yes, so they boosted, they double buffed these guys so that they have plus four movement. Fun. They can also channel spell. Immunity is a new keyword. So they give plus 50% resistance, charge, and applies uh, immunity to poison and stun to themselves, maybe. But it does have a range of up to eight, so maybe not. And then, as yeah, this they need the charge to do this magic burst ability, which is like a disintegration ray or a death ray. With no dodge, no block, and magic damage. And we've got two of them here. An elite boomer here. With 369 damage on it. Okay, so she can technically face tank that explosion. But I think for once we are going to just let the wall do the work. This one, you get to just run into the wall and blow up. I, I don't even want to deal with that. Okay, let's focus on this up here. I am I'm not sure if I should try to kill him or ignore him. He might be too tanky to take down this turn. Eight move on you. I could move here. But she's not that tanky, I think, that she can just run forward like that. That's too much. That movement buff. I'm focusing on in, on the other knights, at least. I've been focusing so much on limiting their movement. And then look, look at this. I can't even really calculate how that is going to affect things. So we have plenty of AP at least. That's nice. And we get the overkill damage into the next row there. And the same here. When I overkill them, goes into the next row. Now we go here, we boomerang. She almost killed the twisted two. Oh, he does minus. What? <laughs> oh, for one turn, they do minus 75% damage. And if you get them both in one turn, he does minus 150% damage. So he can literally do no damage this round. Of course, he can still do all his buff things. So he's not like incapacitated. But damn. Okay, cool. We've got a boomer here and some hatcheries. Gotta kill the hatcheries, I think. But they are being targeted by the ballistas, no? Oh, I think that's the human ballista ability that has been targeting them. They get to use that in the first round, apparently. They can cheer for each other. Just look at... Th they're just looking at each other going, Yeah, we can do it! And then, uh, yeah, they will do it. I'm supposed to use this one, I think. Yeah, that's more damage. But this should be an execute target. We do not have fatality on this flank. Never mind. I will kill the hatchery. It's bad for the environment. And now, Matthew. Time to show off a bit. We can put at least three of them here. But not five. Oh, this will kill it. Okay, and then I suppose one there and one there. But that won't work, but whatever. I didn't have anywhere else to put it. <laughs> Overkill. Glorious. Okay. Uh... 
No other hatcheries or anything. There's another boomer here. So I think I want to rotate to this flank. I will give him more AP and movement. We could use the propagation over here again, but again, I think that's just massively overkill. He does not have infinite mana, I said, and then realized he has 63. Oh, but he also has magic fuel, so I do want to try to retain some mana on him. One, two... Is probably enough. Definitely enough there. Nice. Out of movement, though. There. One, two, and then one, two, three. Cool. You... I forget which one is higher level. Oh, they're both plus two, so it doesn't matter which one you use. Good enough. I said it doesn't matter about the units because they spawn infinitely, but of course we gotta kill as many as we can until the next boss spawns. So. <clears throat> That's a lot of low health units. We have fatality at 37. That's the whole row. <laughs> and this one, 39. Okay. But, uh, which button is that? Six, eight. Nice. And then just in case someone sports on top of him, he teleports out of there. How much health? 2,600 health. Okay, I'm just going to let it blow up on the wall. I'm serious about that. It's, it's fine. Can we make it over here? Yes. This is an elite archer with the misty thing on it that's some nasty damage i wish i could check can i check no i can't check how much that would do to her if she were shot by it eight and then two out all these bad boys would be able to attack her How does that charge thing work? Uh, charge. Okay, so it moves you forward one. Oh, and you can move it further out. I see. No momentum or anything, and it's only one action point. And then we can do it again. That's kind of crazy. Uh, this is a fatality. <laughs> 900 to 1000 damage ish. Okay, and she has plenty of AP. <laughs> and a crit.
pretty proud of that. Oh, and she has AP to use the brace. Okay, did she gain armor from that? No. So, did it turn into health for her? Strange. Okay, whatever. We'll focus the camera so we can see as much as possible. And go. Two of them at the same time. That's a cool change. That feels pretty scary. We can't. I don't even think I can kill one of them in the coming turn. But maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. We are definitely going to try. Skarsnik's armor is gone. No. They are all channeling. Did I overlook this one before? Not sure. Okay, his armor's not gone, so there was a little graphical glitch. His gray bar was gone for a second there, and I thought... I don't know what I thought. Why do these guys have immunity? Is that something that you do? Must be. I wish I could see what you're doing. Like, we don't get any information about the sprayers here. Neither the seed mortars, but they attack, for sure. And the boss marker did not advance, so this new feature doesn't really work. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so the, re the real question this turn, then, is does this work? Thought f fulfilling this thought... Normally, propagation will stop propagating if it hits one enemy, right? If it just if I put the propagation on that guy there, ah, oh, well, bad example is another one. But a single enemy, it will hit him, stop doing anything. Do these things count as enemies then, for the purpose of propagating things through them, so that I could propagate it into the enemy? It bounces off the rocks and the, potentially between the rocks, but it, also potentially back to the dryad. See, I think that's worth a test. Even if we completely waste two action points here. I am going to... Well, can I just target all of it on her? No, we do not have line of sight. Okay. Now we do. That was... Silly way of doing that. Okay, I'm just going to put it all on her. God, I hope that works. It doesn't work. No. Okay. I forgot to cheer on him. Dumb. But he's going to kill it anyway. With three more AP. Yeah. Let's see. 265. One, two, three is enough. Statistically. Then here, and we need more than two there. Okay. One more. One, two, three is not enough. 
four. So maybe, I mean, as, as I said, that Skarsnik was my my best character. Maybe, uh, maybe I was wrong. I feel like Skarsnik. Uh, sorry, Matthew there is uh, doing slightly better than. Over here, we don't have anyone nearby. And this is worrisome. Okay, so what can they do? They they channel just to gain the charge. And then they can do the magic burst, losing the charge. But if I run away from them... Can they not move? I mean, they do have movement still, okay. So they can probably move and then use the magic burst. This would be to destroy the, the boulders around her first. With the bowl, uh, yeah, with the uh, with the catapult. So using two catapults on top of her, but that only I should only do that if I can make it to her with a hero to also hit her while the armor is down. So and we cannot, I think. Uh, but we gotta get there next turn, if nothing else. So hmm. yeah, we're gonna chew through here. Not how I want to spend my action points there. She is too slow. She is not going to be there next turn either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Shit. Chanda can do that. If we book it nine, and then uh, we could do some charge shenanigans in between. One, two. Oh, oh, it's uh. I come to bargain. And the graphic still works. It still doesn't work. We have. We, I'm supposed to have like a uh, strange come up on the screen when when that happens. Thank you, Felix, for the subscribe. The last spell. I want more spells. You know, not in this world. You don't. Spells have gone gone crazy here. We don't want more spells. We're trying to stop him. Spells are friends. I mean, as a fellow wizard, I tend to agree. I also need to kill the boomer. It has 600 health. Okay, boomer. Hmm. Spear and uh, and and great sword, two-handed sword, doesn't really overlap. I can see that now. Or they they overlap, which is the problem. They they they're not. We don't want those two together. Oh, here's some some help. I see. Oh, I can just teleport him over. Hold on. He can get to the dryad really quick. With the teleporty business. Uh, I want to remove these hatcheries. Hatcheries are no good. And I want to remove the seed mortar. Uh, novice wand does more damage. So let us spend some mana here. One, two is enough. Then you. I don't know if I care about the sprayers that much, but why not? Hmm. Cool. 
So far, so good. Would this one... <laughs> would this one run over here and blow up in his face and murder Durand? I don't think I can risk it maybe doing that. So we, we gotta gotta stay back here, not, not, not move there. And if I move here, this boomer can reach him. So let, let's kill the boomer like I said I would. Here. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. Plays have been made. I'm kind of abandoning this entire flank. Oh, but look at this. We are going to get overrun so fast. I really need to just kill the, uh, the boss. Easier said than done. We can maybe teleport up here. Okay, let's table that. Mm. I guess I don't have to kill the boomer right now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep Chanda down here. What? <laughs> That's a cool move. Nice. Okay, I had not seen that before. Love it. Uh, this is 1 AP. Oh, that's the same as the spear move, but whatever. Then up here, murder him. Okay. So we are allowed to move to this space there. So we shall. Let me double check. Okay. Here is the furthest we can go. Oh, we had one AP left over uh, to do something. In order for you to see this one next turn, you have to attack this eventually. Oh, oh, the, the catapult was supposed to do that. Never mind. It's fine. Okay, so Skarsnik, I don't think you will see more bosses near you, so he's just supposed to hold the flank here now. What to kill? What to kill? How much damage do these guys do now? With their charge shot, aim shot? I mean, oh, and there's four of them. He might die. A seventy-four percent dodge. They can't kill Skarsnik. He's immortal. Then what? dead at least okay one more with AP that's you we I bet you we will have a dryad spawning up in this corner right it, it feels weird that this one spawned like in the middle of a flank the other ones are spawning in the corners now uh, so I'm suspect we will have one up here maybe one down here then okay so Skarsnik is in range of that at least and Chanda will be two move down here Okay, uh, so if we consider that one might come up here, I will make sure we move in this direction with you. It's gonna remove, that's gonna ruin their cheer for each other combo, but whatever. Um, no, I was gonna give him AP maybe, but no. Let's do a little magic missile, one there. 
I mean, considering that they're fighting spells, we are using an awful lot of spells ourselves, right? <laughs> so... But I think what the point is that we are going to destroy all magic. When we are done doing our job, there will be no more magic. Like in the entire world. I need to kill the seed mortar. So if I end up here, one AP should be enough. Oh, this one. Nice. It already lost a move point. Nice. And here. And then... Good. All movement and all AP spend on six euros here. That was nasty. She lost three movement and two AP. I needed that movement and AP. I don't know if I can win this. Now that you can't make it over there, we are in serious doo-doo. I could have made it with the help of Durand. He could have given her the en enough. And I'm wrong about that, I think. He couldn't have. But he can teleport over here, and then they can work together but she can only make it to here. But he needs her help. Like, Duran doesn't do enough damage on his own, I think. Here we go. Oh, I should... Throw the catapult here then, and again. That only removed one of the blockades, that was not enough. So you have to come over here. You have to do it twice. Okay. Then you can come in here, hit with the axe there. And then we're through. Does it have block? It does. So the hammer makes sense. Yeah, the hammer. It has 20% resistance also, that's why we're doing so little damage. A thousand stun resistance. So that's not how we do it. Okay. We did what we could with him, her, it, her. Oh, we have one more action point. This does less damage. We can lower its damage and accuracy with a debuff. Is that important for you? Do you care if it has a debuff? No, no opportunism, anything. This does 101 for 2 AP. This will do significantly more, I think. Yes, for 2 AP we do f this hit four times. I think you have to be out here. There. With one AP after, what do you do with one AP? Oh, you have the potions. Can I kill it this turn? 
Now I can do the magic missiles twice. And I'm thinking about boosting our mana before so that we get slightly more magic fuel bonus rather than doing an, a sort of Democ Democles hit after. Yes. So it goes up from 18% to 22%. So 4% more damage. Not sure if that's worth it. But on 8 hits, I feel like that's significant. And we have one more AP. Oh, because spending AP gives him AP. Or spending mana gives him AP. And we have a potion of energy. What, how much health? 300 health. Come on. We can do this. 3 AP here. 91 times 3. Technically too little. The fireball for 2 AP? No. It has to be this. Not even... Oh, he could roll a crit, crit here. Please. 60 health. Oh, she still has one attack. <laughs> Got him. Right on the money. All right. Exactly as planned. They can't see each other. So here... Thanks. Oh, hydrate is a good idea. Thank you, Skarsnik. So the rest of the turn is just cleaning up as many zombies as we can before the next boss spawns. How to do that efficiently? That is the question. Look at this group. Coming at the wall. We can kill some of them. Oh, okay. Oh, did I hit the wall with that? I, I didn't see. Maybe I hit the wall with that. Huh. It's not you. Oh, Rick Rara, sorry. I am also getting tired. This has been a long stream. So uh, I'm glad that it's about to be over, but I do want to finish it up for sure. Skarsnik does not have a lot of mana and I shouldn't spend it right now because he will need it if the boss spawns down here. Then up here, do a momentum hit. And I, that means I can't go over to this flank with him. Because, again, I need him here to cover this area. I'm thinking we could send Matthew there, but I don't think Lilu would be able to kill whatever boss spawns over here on her own. And no chance that Sandria makes it up there, but maybe Durand could run towards this corner. That is an option. Oh, we can see the front of the elite boomer for the first time. Look at that uh, beefcake. <laughs> Beautiful. And he seems, seems tired. I am a bit tired, yeah. Splat. This gives me good feelings. Oh, I, I spent two AP on each one of those kills instead of thinking... It's just a cool move. I got distracted by the awesomeness. 2 AP here, we can kill 2 of the shooters, but honestly... Them shooting at Skarsnik means that he accumulates more Berserk, and he can do that more if people are shooting at him and, and surrounding him. So I kind of feel like I shouldn't kill them. Uh, the Mushroom is dying there. 
Same with the archer there. Uh, but let's kill the frontliner. Ah, let's just kill these two. And then we'll park him right around here. There. Yes. Are we sending Durand over to work with Lilu, maybe? Or Lilu goes down here. Let's see what she can accomplish. Uh, you have enough mana to do a little magic missile here. Oh, I should have killed the, the boomer instead. That would have blown up and killed those two. Damn it. And I will have to kill the boomer. Good. And yeah, I think I will send Matthew to this flank to make sure that we can kill a boss spawning over here. Guarantee kill. Yeah, literally a guarantee kill. And this. Ah, whatever. We also need to try to build up his um, field study thing. Which means I have to kill them at range 4 in order to trigger that. Four or more. One, two, three, four. Right, so he already has one stack of it, I see. Two movement, or two AP remain. Let's give him some more and some more movement so he can get all the way over here. One, two on you, two on you. Then we'll do it again. No dodge chance because we have so high accuracy. So we're wasting some shots, which is kind of interesting. But uh, it is what it is. Oh. More. Ah, but he's out of uses for the quick shot, of course. With the run, we can get further over here and poison... No, that's too risky. Poison him, and then get out of his attack range here. Chanda has movement. I would rather that she doesn't get attacked. But if I only get attacked by one, then that's fine. So like here, I think. Ah. Skarsnik, you are in the position that I want you in. Okay, let's hope that we only see one more boss. Oh, perfect. Or I, what I meant is one more boss spawn. Still only one boss spawn, technically. And apparently they can spawn in the spaces that they have already been. Good to know. I mean, I'm positioned fairly well to kill them. It should take no more than two turns. But if there's another boss spawn after that, my uh, my base will have fallen by then. I think. Oh. <laughs> you 
fools. You are only making him stronger. Yeah, that's bad. That wall gone. That extra movement there. Surely this is the last boss spawn. It has to be. 